You clicked on this video to learn how to play AAA titles on your iPhone and iPad. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using GeForce Now and then do a review. So yeah, so GeForce Now is a cloud gaming service which allows you to play games using your internet connection. Essentially how cloud gaming works is there will be some server near your location that has a bunch of PCs. It will be streaming the feed of those PCs directly to you. So it's very internet intensive. So you're gonna need an iPad um, running iOS 14, I believe, and you are gonna need a stable internet connection. So I would say that's 50 megabits a second or more. And then you're gonna also want an Xbox controller or a SteelSeries Nimbus or a PlayStation controller, any which that can connect to the iPad via Bluetooth. So once you have the controller paired to the iPad, it's really not that hard to get it up and running. You open the app, you log into your NVIDIA account, and then you will go and you will search for the game that you Oh, so I, for this example, I'll do control. I click on that and then I own it in the Epic Games Store so I can just click that. It really is really smooth to play at and most of the time it is, um, most of the time I never even have a stutter or a lag. Oh, I should also mention there is a Founders Edition for this. So what that means is you'll pay $10 a month or $100 a year and you get instant load times, so you can be the first in line, so you click it and you're in. Um, you, can, you can get RTX on, so supposedly there's better graphics, and you get three hour limit instead of one hour limit. So there's still a limit, but not as long. What do I like about GeForce Now? So I love that I can play high intense games on an iPad or an iPhone that normally you would require a gaming PC or a console to play, and you can do this for free. That is the number one reason I love GeForce Now. I also like how easy it is to set up. It's not a confusing process. It's been super stable, a clear connection. And finally, the last thing I love about GeForce Now is the wide array of titles it has, and they're adding more every week. We'll talk about EA in a bit, but other than that, really GeForce Now is a great solution for people who don't want to spend the money, especially during this chip shortage, but just want to get a little gaming in and they already have some games that they want to play. I have noticed stuttering is a big issue. I will be like in Watch Dogs and I'll get into a big fight and then all of a sudden it just and it just freezes on me. Another issue, at least on iPad and the phone, is I don't get HD rumble like I do in Parsec or if I'm playing on a PC. I started Control entirely on GeForce Now. I never even touched it on a PC. And then I recently started playing it on a gaming PC and oh my goodness, it's so much better. And it's not that I'm rendering in such a higher res, it's still 1080p. GeForce Now has tons of compression and that's how it's able to get the feed back and forth and feel instantaneous. So it really compresses it and especially in areas with lots of shadows, you can tell. But you wouldn't even been able to play this game on an iPad because of how bad the mobile game market is. So honestly, it's not too big of an issue for me. And then finally, the worst part of all about GeForce Now is it does not have EA Origin games. So Battlefront or Battlefield, I own all those games. Nope, no support at all. So even if you have a PC right now, I would recommend you go give it a shot by following the links in the description and just see how well it is for you. Your PC might not be powerful enough to play like Cyberpunk or Watch Dogs Legion or some really high-end game. And this has been the solution that's worked well for me. And that's what's exciting is if you have a good internet connection, just give it a try. It's completely free. Um, and yeah, so if you like this content, please stay tuned. And I am working on many more videos. And yeah, peace out.